Why is that the way? We need an intro. That's our intro. Are you opening a can of soda? Yep. That's how everyone knows that they should have a drink. <sighs> well, all, all we did two of you. We did. <laughs> we did have a drink here. So, um, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. I know uh, last week we didn't have. Um, you like blew my ear off. Oh, sorry. Uh, we didn't have the the. Why do we have this like here? But that was because here. we had some. Here. <laughs> We had some um, some family emergency things. Like. Actually, no, you don't want it pointing at you. Why? Because this right here doesn't pick up anything. It's right here that picks up all the sound. But it ha it looks like it should. It does look like it should, but it it's doesn't. A lie. It's a lie. I want it to be pointed at me. I want to see. You want to sing? Oh, really close. But you're always even blues. when you're singing because you're you're. Uh, uh, there's you, science you, you behind you it. it. You eat it. You put it right up against your lips. You sing the blues. Mom, 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 sing the blues. You're like blues. Is that how you sing the blues? <laughs> Deep blue. So, blue. For, those sky of, blue. For those of you who don't know, As I blue. am... Uh, stop it. Uh, I'm an artist and I can't think of any more blues. There's Did others. You, Cerulean, kind of a green blue. Is that really? I think so. Maybe it's just blue. Anyways, I'm John Mark. This is my Maybe wife, blue. Michelle. Stop it. And uh, today we are playing Borderlands. Maybe butt blue. I don't think that's one. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> it's ultramarine. <laughs> ultramarine blue. Which is weird, because there's the ultramarines in 40k, but it's an actual they're color. They're blue. I know. So they're, that's why. They're ultramarine. They're, they, they weren't very original. Mm, well. Like we're blue. This is our name. Well, yeah. I think I found that on a colored pencil. Yep. Sasha is spelled wrong. I. I don't yes, cause how's that so hard? We have her name come up all the time. Why I can't you know. spell it yet? I don't know. Anyways, we're playing Borderlands. So have you ever seen, watched, heard anyone play Borderlands? Watched a Let's Play? A little robot that's uh, talking to you. I've watched like Lauren a minute, like a long time ago. That's about all the exposure you've had. So basically, what I think is Borderlands is the one where you're on an alien planet. Yes. And you're trying to find a treasure. Yes. And for some reason, there's a treasure on this planet. Yes. And it's somehow connected to another game. You, I don't know Isn't about it, that. Like, well, there's a second the game. The company is no. The company is also in. They sold T-shirts in a different game. Or did they? Am I wrong? You that you might be right. I don't know. I don't remember. Are you gonna look I it up. I want to say it's connected to Saints. Four. I think we have. I don't know. I don't. I don't think so. Anyways, but <laughs> some like Lord a minute told me this, and they're always accurate. They're always accurate. Um, no, because uh, so Borderlands is uh, it's a first-person shooter with some RPG elements. Because uh, oh, okay, you're gonna. Do I, that. I, I'm thinking of how to ask my question. Oh, because she had that voice-activated phone. Lore in a minute, Borderlands. Mm. Is it gonna be some like background stuff that she looks this up? I don't like it. You don't like it? We'll look it up later. Borderlands and Saints. What's it called? Saints Row? Saints Row. Why would the. If Borderlands, Borderlands and Saints Row connection. Why would Borderlands be. Stop talking, you're running up my search. Sorry, sorry. Now it's like Borderlands and Saints Row connection. Okay, did it. Go back! Uh, anyway, keep talking. To yeah, okay. Yeah, so, I, yeah, I don't, <laughs> yeah, I don't know what you're talking now about. Now I'm like desperate to find it to so know that I'd be, uh, you know, wrong or you'd be right or whatever. No, I just need to know what I'm thinking about and why I have this information in my head. Ah. Where did it come from? Where did it go? Where, Where did do you it come, come from, from? Cotton Eye Joe? Joe? And we get YouTube copyright infringement. Yeah, because they're weird about that. Um, anyways, so yeah, Borderlands, um, this is Borderlands 1, and it's... <sighs> so they reference, hey, it says all the stuff Borderlands references. Oh yeah, they've Alice referenced a lot Wonderland, of stuff. Alice in Wonderland, Beowulf, Bright Lights, Big City, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, uh -huh. DC Comics, yep. Gone with the Wind, Yep. Green Hornet Comics, Hamlet, If You Give a Mouse a Cookie, and Lynch One, there's a series of missions that are referenced to children's pictures novel of Give Your Mouse a Cookie... Which we all know leads to vampires. Right? Yes, yes, yes. 
that is what Robot Chicken taught me. Chicken's Guide to the Galaxy, Hunger Games. And I have never the known. Iceman cometh, Logan's Run, The Lord of the Rings, Macbeth. So they're just going to cover. They should just put Shakespeare and list all the Shakespeare. Yeah, just all the Shakespeare stuff. The Man with the Golden Gun. Oh, that was a James Bond movie. That just reminded me of a story my grandpa would tell me. Okay. 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 Give me a second. It was like a, like my grandma told the story of the good little girl and the bad little girl, which was like a ten-hour-long story uh -huh. that we loved anyway. Why? <laughs> okay. Um, and then my grandpa would tell us a story of this guy who stole a girl's golden arm. It was really morbid. So once upon a time. Okay, story time now. Once upon a time, Cultural. there was a girl who was born with a golden arm. She could use it in everything. I think it was like, but it was just gold. Like it was gold. literally a golden arm that she could use. It's weird. Well, the guy was like, oh, I'm gonna butcher it. It's been so long. It was like, man. I want gold. I want the golden arm. So he like. Chopped it off. She died. I think she cho he chopped it off and she died. That was probably or buried or something. Like I think she was already dead did, and he, she died and he went did, into a grave and got it. Did it end happily? And then like at like at his house he kept hearing, "Give me my golden arm." Oh, uh, that was probably. And like it kept happening, happening, and then finally he grab you and tickle you. Oh, it's one of those. It's one of those. It was like really dark and morbid. Now that I think about it, like as a child we were just terrified. At the same time, it was hilarious. Yeah. But now I'm sitting there going. Dang, you know, <laughs> like, jeez. Well, Man with the Golden Gun was one of uh, the more famous. I'm not thinking of the teacher to uh, that one. <gasps> we should get my grandma to come in and record the, <laughs> the good little that girl would, and the bad little girl. That would be. Oh yeah, we could do that. That would be. That would be I thought you were. Let's see, Moby, Moby Dick. Dick. No country for old men. Huh? The Once and Future King. Paradise Lost. I've tried to read what that Paradise is Lost is about. Hard. No, Phantom nope. Tollbooth was like one of my sister's favorites. Pinocchio. Well, the legit story of Pinocchio. You ready? Uh huh. He's a jerk. Kay. Man, selfish jerk. I think he got Geppetto killed pretty much in the original story. Neat. What was it? And in the movie, like you know, I never realized how depressing that movie is. It. I can't watch There's it. There's children, child trafficking. Uh huh. Because. Muppet tra puppet, puppet trap, puppet, puppet, puppet trafficking. Yeah. When he sells them to the puppeteer. Yeah. And like that's literally what they do. They threaten you, like in trafficking. They threaten yep. your family and they threaten you to keep you there. Yep. And so he runs away and he gets freaking trafficked again because we all know once you're a victim, yep. you're more likely to be a victim again, to go to basically child auction house for donkeys yeah it gets turned and, into and they're all getting turned into donkeys even though what he's does not Pinocchio or great do? Game, he's what does Pinocchio do uh, does he go save all the little boys nope no he freaking's like I gotta get the frick out of here and he jumps off into the ocean yep, and they all die and, well no they got sold to salt mines but what happens to the ones that don't change all the way mmm that's just like cause they're like, they're like he can't sell them cause they can still talk and stuff I have no idea. He kills them? I guess he kills them. Or there's a strange market out there or something. I don't hey, know. man. Internet. I'm just saying. All right. What else is there? Um, Portrait of the artist as a young man. I have no idea. I'm going to assume that might be Dorian Gray. Probably. Uh, the Raven. Okay. Romeo and Juliet. Well, really just like Sam, Sam and Max. Max. Oh, I love Sam and Max. Study in Scarlet. Uh-huh. Slaughterhouse 5. A Song of Ice and Fire series. Really? Huh. Oh, every once in a while, a Crimson Raider will say, and the section will say, Winter is coming. Oh. Ah. Uh. Sorcerer's Apprentice, Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs, Twilight. Really? What is the Twilight reference? Robots are like vampires. They sparkle when hit with incendiary rounds. <laughs> That's fantastic. What else? The Dark you? Tower. Dark That's actually Tower. a famous book. Yeah. XKCD! Hey, XKCD! You made it into a video game. Yeah. I don't get half your jokes. I'm stupid. Oh, man. We had those jokes plastered. When I worked uh, networking, we had those jokes just plastered. Air Force One. Airplane! Yep. Alien vs. Predator. Kay. Aliens. Annoying Orange. Really? Ugh. Hate that show. What? What's the reference? Uh, the gun zerker has a skin tiled annoying orange. It references to the YouTube Cartoon Network show of the same name. Apocalypse Now. Arrested Development. I like that show. Boys. Batman. Batman. Beer Fest. Big mm. Trouble in Little China. Boondock Saints. Breaking Bad. This is not answering the question. Captain Planet. He's our hero. I'm gonna to take the pollution down to zero. A clockwork orange. 
Like rape or something? Uh, oh, okay. What's, what's the reference? Uh, Vladov sniper rifle weapon use Snad sought slain terms in their names such as Droog, Doby, Britva, Bush. I see the names of people. Oh, they they yeah, okay. Community. Yeah. yeah cool okay. hand Luke. The Crow. You know, I'll be honest with you, most of these references are probably uh, with the guns, because they ran out of names for for the guns. Because they're supposed to be... That was the big draw of this. That was their big selling point, is that Holy this crap, game has... Doctor, here's Doctor Who, you ready? Oh, dear. Look how long this is. Oh, that is a lot There's of a lot of Doctor Who references. Probably. That makes sense. But yeah. Copy the floppy. The, um, the Evil Dead, Dawn of my Dead. Dead by Dawn. Sorry, can't read. <laughs> I tried watching that. It's like... They're like, all right, Evil Dead. Was, the, the original one, one was scary. really creepy, yeah, really, really creepy. scary, really campy. Okay? Yeah, yeah. Kind of said it. Evil Dead Two just got rid of everything and kept the campy. Yeah, they just. <laughs> and I like it. it I like it because it's a comedy and it's better. Yeah. You know? And apparently, like the new Evil Dead one. Did got, they go back to the the they, creepy? They lost the campy and it's just morbidly dark and gross. Uh, like it's disgusting. Like I yeah. I can't even watch clips. Yeah. I'm like, okay, now you're just you're just basically well, this, slasher porn. This is this and, goes back to and my thing. They got the blessing from the director. He likes it. He says this is kind of cool because it's kind of fun to see a movie done in this way with the technology they had available. I'm like, what they do with the technology? They like oh, let's suck all the color out. Yeah. <laughs> gloom. And let the girls do really crazy things with knives. And this is this is the thing that I, I they represent full house. Heck yeah! Uh, this is one of the things that I, oh, I, I that bugs me about uh, some of these remakes. Is like okay, like Dread, the Judge Dread remake. Okay, I think we talked about this. Did we? I don't remember. Uh, anyways, I really liked My, both John movies. John works on repeat most days, so it's fine. I like I like both Pulp movies. Pulp Fiction. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Spaceballs. Yes. Yeah, lab. C Lab 28. Is there seven? Seven with a seven in it? Yeah, it's, it's um, I think it's an anime. No, I could be wrong. I think it's a, I thought it was a movie. Might have been. Monty Python, Heck The yeah. Muppets. Okay, this is not answering any of my questions. So, I don't think there's any, I don't think here, I think you're crazy. Borderland <laughs> Villains Connection. Uh, Maybe it's not Borderland. It might not be Borderland. You might be thinking of something. But I feel like because Borderland is a goofy game and Saints Row is a goofy game. Yeah, but that doesn't mean that they're both goofy in the same universe. I feel like they're in the same universe. Something <laughs> tells me. Something tells you. Have a, you have an <laughs> instinct. Mm. I don't know anything about <clears throat> either. But they all have, like, one has silly hats and the other one has silly guns. <laughs> Wait. Wait. What? How does those two things? <laughs> lots know. of them. Lots of. Lots them. of. Okay, but anyways, um, because like I said, they they were remaking uh, Mad Max. Okay, the, Commander Steel. Um, what's it? Road Warrior. Has, has that one come out yet? The new Road Warrior. I don't think so, but the trailers are really pretty. I'm I'm gonna see it. I mean, the the the, the problem that I have with it though is like the '80s had this charm. This sort of weird. It had, it had its own style yeah, of post-apocalyptic. Like, yeah. This is actually a continuation. Is it? It's not a remake. Oh. Um, or it's an uh, alternate universe continuation because it's not about gas this time. It's about water. They which they makes solved the gas way problem, more sense. but now they have a water problem. And I don't know. I just thought the first trailer they brought out with the music and the, like the sand tornado and crap, like. I'm like, if they're going to do outrageously crazy stunts in this movie, then I will see this movie because, yeah, it already looks dark. Like you got basically the, 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 the marauding group and their crazy cars and their crazy outfits still. Yeah. They have the crazy outfits yep. still and the crazy cars, and they're <clears> driving <throat> around, probably pillaging and raping and stealing like they usually do. Well, that's what Pillaging and stealing is, is yeah, the same mm -hmm. thing. Um, but, and I just kind of want, and then there's, is it Mad Max, right? Yeah, it's Mad Max is the... He's a different actor, but he still looks mad. So and I know. I mean, I know it's like <laughs> he looks I, mad. Maybe and maybe he's just angry this time and not actually crazy. I don't know. Um, I like cause, well because Mad Max was a series. There's a series of movies, uh, and uh, the a lot of people agree that the worst of them was. Um, but it's also I think one of the more famous of them is the <gasps> Thunderdome. I want I want to know where this connection came from. Is it gonna bug you the whole time until yeah, you find it? Yeah, I gotta it? find it. Okay, so she's gonna obsess about that. Saints Row villain. I don't think it's the villain. Why do you think it's the villain? Because he—it's a company. 
and Saints Row. Oh. And I think they started out selling like T-shirts, and now they're. A company. <clears throat> I don't know. I could be really wrong. I don't know. I'm, I'm looking it up. I'm trying. Looking it up. Yep. Doing doing the research. Um, but yeah, the um. There's a lot of villains. I really, I, I really like the Satan. The, uh, Satan's in Saint Row. Yes, he is. Why does he always be the good man? Because well, no, okay. The, the Satan, it, the, the there's uh, one of the expansion is uh, out of uh, get out of hell or something like that. No, I'm just talking about why is he always the goat man? Because that you know where that comes from. It comes from satyrs. Yep. It's like, dude, Satan doesn't look like a goat. If anything, he looks like a really pretty angel. Yeah, that's that's the biblical. It's like he was supposed to be super, super beautiful. Because I'm sorry, if a goat man comes up to me, he's like, I want to strike a deal. I'll be like, no. You're a goat man. You're a goat man. Do you want to trust those goats? Have you seen goat eyes? They are the creepiest they thing. They have the creepiest eyes. They have the creepiest eyes. Anyway, it's so weird. you can maybe continue with your story. Oh, I was just saying that I I really... Yeah, Nolan North. What? Oh, what? Nolan North. I might not have a med school. Okay, did you find it? Hold Nolan on. North. Uh huh. Because it's Handsome Jack is is the the head of the company that's technically the bad. Because it's it's the bad guy in Saints Row, not Saints Row, um, Borderlands Two is the Handsome Jack who's the CEO of the company that sent people here and is trying to kill you. Well, his real name was Nolan North. What was it? I don't know. I don't remember. I I. I I watched a video. I haven't played Saints Row 2. I want to get Saints Row 2. But, uh, the money. Tier Corporation. So. Tier Exposed. Uh -huh. Peace with Old Tier. Mm -hmm. The Syndicate and Stags. He has a, he has a, uh, a, a diamond horse named, um, Butt Diamond or something like that. The butt Diamond? I can't remember. Oh, you need to play the love game. The loved game? Yeah, you're an agent of love. And you shoot hearts at people, and you get rid of their hate by shooting love at them. What game is this? And, um, it's like a short game, but it's hilarious. And you're shooting hearts, and you get different guns. Like, you got basically a heart. A love zooka? Gatling gun. Oh, okay, yeah. A zooka. Like, different things. Love zooka! And Rocket Power <laughs> played it. And the <laughs> final <laughs> villain is Putin. Like, 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 And like, he has a bear, and he rides on this bear, and you have to fight him with like, love. Like, like, Putin, like, like, the leader of Russia. Yes. You have to fight Putin. <laughs> on a bear. And he's riding a bear. Riding a bear. Uh, you're shooting with love, and the way the game ends is you end up shooting the bear. The bear falls in love with Putin, and jumps him, and they disappear. <laughs> that's how it ends. That's a little, a little, like, whoa. little, uh, that's weird. Uh. That's it, it, that game like enlightened me. <laughs> well, how did it? I like enlightened me. Oh, by the way, when you shoot people with love, because they're always wearing like suits and stuff when they're uh -huh. hateful, you shoot them till they're naked, and then you like love on them. Oh. No, you fill them with love. And Markiplier is like, oh, how do I, how do I fill them with love? I don't know where this game's going. <laughs> and it's just like you like blow a kiss or something, and they suddenly are like wearing like hippie clothes. I don't remember. That's. It is what? amazing! Where, where, do you, where does he find these games? People suggest it to him. Okay. People... Well, this is... Okay, and this kind of goes into what I was... One of the topics I was going to kind of bring up. Like, so, um, the indie market. There's a lot more indie games, and a part of it is um, thanks to things like Kickstarter and Steam's Greenlight. But, um, here's the problem, and this is a problem that I kind of figured was going to happen when the Indian market exploded. Yes, you have more creative freedom and you can kind of get away from, you know, the 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 sterile cuz cuz the AAA market's become pretty sterile. They're not going to release anything that they don't know is going to make them a billion dollars, you know. That's why they're releasing every year the same Madden games, really the same Call of Duty games. You know, they they do it because people will buy them and they know that they'll buy them. What are you doing? Nolan North Other Games. Okay. Anyways. I'm searching my test. Apparently. Um, I want to know where this information came into my brain. It did, and why is that I think you're just crazy, honestly. It's, I think this is just, uh... This is just you, uh, hallucinating. All games Nolan North has been in. Wow. This is... There's, there's stuff for that? It's weird. Anyways. But... On, on the one hand, you know, the AAA industry oh, has... Oh, Nolan North is, an, is, a, is the name of an actor. <laughs> okay. Anyways, on one hand... So as you know, a voice the, actor. The, uh... That is the coolest voice acting name. 
It is kind of cool. I am Nolan North. All right, put the phone away. That's the name. That's how I talk. Is that your Nolan That's North? That's my Nolan, Nolan North voice. Anyways, anyways, back to the the question. What do you what do you think about? Because like on the one hand, you've got you know the AAA that's become very and, very oh. very sterile because they're not gonna they don't take risks. But on the other talk hand, to the mic. I am talking to the mic. On the other hand, you have the, tri the 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 indie game, which there's some really good indie games that came out. Um, but for every like really generally good indie game, there are games like that one that you just described. That is a great game. <laughs> it is game of the year. Markiplier <laughs> said so. <laughs> I don't and he is God. I, what? Um, Screw you, PewDiePie. Here comes Markipoo. Okay. I'm, okay, but no seriously. What I mean? What do you think? Like, like, is it better to have? You took my horn away. Your horn? Yeah, give me my horn! Stop playing with this. I, you were playing with it. That's why I took it from you. Oh. Uh, <laughs> it's this... Because nobody can see what you're doing. I know, I'm smacking this... A, this sticky... A uh, sticky portable speaker to my forehead. Ow. <laughs> <laughs> That's a little harder. Than, no, no, don't touch don't, don't it! There we go. Anyways, so what, I mean, what is it better to have a game that you know is going to be good, or to wait through this endless, you know? Because there's some weird games that have been greenlit, some weird ones, like one where you shoot love at people. Apparently, it wasn't greenlit. I think it was just someone's project. Okay. I think it's a free game. Is it? Yeah. Of course. On the other hand, then you have like Five Nights at Freddy's, which has become, you know, started out with. I don't want to talk about it. It's done. I know, but I'm just saying, like, that was just an he indie game. It. That was an indie they're game. All, they're still indie. All three of them are indie. Yeah. But you want to know why he made one. that game? Mm. Because he actually was contracted to make this one game, and it was like a Bible game. Um, <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> I'm sorry. Because um, I played some of the Bible games. Yeah, this is one of those. Oh, and no. And people kept crit critique critiquing him uh -huh. that his stuff looked too animatronic. Looked too fake. Looked like the movement, like Creepy Valley, not Creepy. Uh, or uh, Uncanny Valley. Uncanny Valley. So he was like, "Fine, I'm gonna make a game that will, I can use this technique in, because uh -huh. I can't seem to get over it." Yeah. And that's when he created. Um, I've not watched any of this. There's, there's. I read game we play as rats. Rats. Giant rat monsters. Oh, uh, it's like not like rat monsters. It's got like these. Those. That's what it is. That. Space rats. It's, not, it's like a space it's dog. It's a spop, pup caught, skag. You know, what, is, what? if it's a pup, why was it attacking you? Like, usually, like, baby animals are like, ah! Um, Except for aliens. Because it's on an alien planet, and... Uh, wildlife. They're apparently on a uh, completely hostile... I don't know. Anyways. Why are babies trying... I want them to do this, but I want them to have, like, baby people. Humans. Uh, they do. Infants. They have, like, 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 there's, like, a midget psycho... Uh, thing that comes at you. Uh, no, I want like legit babies. Oh, like they're just like really defensive. Um, like, Dante's Inferno. Like you get attacked by babies. Well, those are all, those are all like un, un, um, unbaptized babies. Unbaptized babies. Which apparently un, uh, an unbaptized baby, according to that game, means that they turn into like flesh-eating zombies. Well, everyone's something terrible in that game. Yeah. You are your you are your sin basically. Yeah. Except for like that because unbaptized babies don't. Catholic, they don't actually go to hell. They go to purgatory. Or, yeah. Or since, something. Since the other place doesn't exist anymore. Limbo. Yeah. Whoa. He's not happy. TK Baha. 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 That mouth. You. One more step and it'll be your last. So, is that a lovely um, symbol in the background there? Those cactus. Uh, why would you? Only you. <laughs> what? I'm a woman. It's all we think about. Uh, what? Um, anyways, brings me to the, the to the next, uh, rah, 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 rah. what are you doing? I don't know. The next thing. You read this article, and I want kind of your opinion I, about uh, it. Okay. Of uh, the article on, um, uh, was it, uh, oh, now I can't remember. Polygen? Polygon. About Polygen. Polygon. I don't know how to say it. About, uh, Borderlands bringing couples together. I didn't read it, I just read the title. Oh. So I actually have no opinion whatsoever. Oh. Well, I read it. I thought okay. you read it. I read no, it I just figured they met on Borderlands and now they're together. No, actually, what it was? Okay, so these two. <laughs> I assumed much. I'm, I'm a product of my generation. Actually, I'm not. I'm millennial, 
but where I I base all of my knowledge on 140 uh, characters. Uh, if you can't say it in 140 characters, it's not true. It's too long. Yeah. Anyways, it's uh, the okay. So the article was basically about this um, this this couple, this. married couple. Please stop it. This married couple that uh, their uh, they their schedules didn't line up, so they rarely saw each other in the times that they were in, basically in the same house together. Um, you know they slept. Well, they wanted to unwind, so they you know we played two different video games. So he was a big Counter Strike fan. She was big into World of Warcraft. Yeah. And they needed something to do together, and so Borderlands. is a good combo, yeah. I guess. And it kind of is. Um, well, I mean, what do, what do you think? Like, you and I play a lot, uh, a ridiculous amount of League of Legends together, and that's kind of our thing to do together. I mean, what do you think about sort of the couple? Uh, would you say the couple that plays together stays together? No. No. Because you could have a, people be really competitive. Like you. Hey, we're still together. <laughs> I've gotten better. You I have gotten like better. I feel like I've tried to just... Earth helps. Earth is like the... D they need to leave Earth in. And here's why. People get tired of ranked, and people get tired of normals and the crap that happen. Leave Earth in. Actually, Sky was talking about this. Leave Earth in. Since their judicial system doesn't really work very well in League. Like, if you, if you get enough reports... You can't play normal games, and you can't play rank. You're stuck with like having to play ten games of Earth to calm the frick down. Yeah, there you go. So I have people go noob and Earth, and I'm like, okay, I don't yeah. care. Yeah, because you don't. I mean, it's like people calling you noob on A RAM. It's like, okay, nobody's so good at this. So I might be playing a champion that I don't know how to play because it's randomly picked for me, and maybe I decide that I'm tired of playing tank this or AP that, so I'm playing. Well, Something different, like A.D. Leona flying in and smacking you with a crit. <laughs> Heck yeah. But I think, I mean, I think... Since our AP scaling is crap. Part of it, it, it doesn't really necessarily... Like, like the whole Borderlands, playing Borderlands to bring couples together, That I think it, it's missing the point is you need to find t something to do together. Um, like, one of my old professors used to always say, you know... Are you going to get the baby? Yeah. Okay. Uh, you used to always say that you need to have a date night, and that doesn't necessarily mean you have to go to like a nice restaurant and then go to a movie. You just need to spend like like one day aside uh, a week. Just needs to be you and your significant other, whoever he or she may be, um, because when that connection like that's what that's what that's part of what a lot of divorces are caused by is that that breakdown of that connection between the two You're people. Too. Break that Move! Yeah, no. You're in my way! Yeah. I'm gonna poke you with this. Hi Titus, you wanna you wanna say something? Say hello. Right there, go hello. Yeah. 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 That's our son. He's watching Borderlands. Yeah, this, this is yeah, yeah, we're yes. good parents. Yeah. Uh huh. Hey, what what do you think about that? Oh. So. You should record um, Bioshock sometime. Which one? The original. I don't care. The original. Man, that game scared the crap out of me when I first started it. It was. It was. I was like, like, get out. He's like, get out of the pod. And I'm like, no. <laughs> nope. No. No. Nope, I'm like, saving the pod. I, feel like I, want, I was like, can I close this door? Like I was trying to figure. I'm like, I'm not getting out. I know they're out there. They're waiting. <laughs> And I just could not handle that thought of just walking out and getting jumped. I, and then I was able to get over it and uh, play the whole game. But before that, I it took me like ten minutes to get out of that pod. I was so freaking out. Well, that was kind of the, like like That's why like, I can't play Amnesia. Bioshock and Bioshock. I Infinite. know. Bioshock and Bioshock <laughs> Infinite had such different tones. Like Bioshock, you just like first of all, you're underwater. There is just there is there is this sort of primal fear about being that far okay. underwater. And then you have, you know, uh, ah. the, the splicers. The, the place has already gone to 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 pooped. To pooped. And so yeah. And then you have Bioshock Infinite, where you start out, everything's good. Everything's I really wanted to explore that world more before it went to poop. And In Infinite. Yeah. It was so pretty. You get there, and there's butterflies. And I just trying to take my eyeballs out of my own face. The eyeballs stay in my face. Uh. Um, 
You didn't, you didn't actually kiss daddy there. You kissed his chair. <laughs> but anyways, butterflies. And then just real flowers. Like you're in like the nobly, like you're like in the upper crest area. Uh-huh. So, you know, it's beautiful. And there's parks and people walking. And they're all white. And you later on you learn that they're racist. And you know, it oh no, it's it, not later on. They're pretty, they're pretty upfront about it. Oh no, you don't know it until you do the whole um, couple thing. Where you have to well, no, no, in the the carnival, you have to, you you basically. That's shoot. what I meant. The couple. No, 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 no. The arc, the the carnival. There's the there's the little shooting gallery, and it's. See, pretty much, I don't think I looked at it that much. I did. Um, yeah. Well, I don't know. I just didn't feel that up front at first. I didn't, I'm like, okay, well, it's a time period. Uh, and then I'm like, oh, they're like legitimately like, this is outlawed. Like, love. I mean, I know it was for a while too, but still. Was it really? Is yeah. It, really illegal it was to- illegal in a couple states, for a lot, almost all states for a long time to intermarry. Huh. It took a long time. It's weird. But, yeah, the, uh... No, you can't leave. You have a lot of demand. The, 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 the tones felt very, very... Like, it almost... My dolphin almost, child. It honestly almost okay, did not feel like a Bioshock game. Um, Infinite here? didn't, at least. I'm not saying it was bad. I, I liked no, both. No, you gotta stay here. I think the only part that really felt like a Bioshock game is when you do the, um... Uh, what's that level? Uh, what's 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 Comstock's wife's name? Um, I hated that. Yeah, cause it's. I bis- hated it. It was like like a, the ghost of the blah blah. I'm like, this is weird. What it is is it's the overlaying of so many different. Yeah. Op Lady choices. Comstock. Lady yeah. Comstock. That's just this overlay of power constantly, choices and all that, just kind of forming her into a half existence. And yeah, it was. Anyway, weird. that was weird. But the thing about it is, like, I didn't get any chance. Like. Suddenly, okay, so you get Elizabeth, right? Yep. And you gotta go and get the weapons so you can get the blimp from the woman. Uh huh. And from the resistance lady, what's her name? Oh, uh, I don't remember. Um, and you're like, Just okay, so and then you start time to the portal jumping. Yep. And then you're suddenly in the Civil War. Yep. And everything's poop. Yep, everything to poop. And I'm like, I wasn't done. Like, I wasn't done with this world yet. I wasn't done exploring this world. I wasn't... I wanted more. I wanted more with four freaking islands were falling from the sky and who were blowing up and killing each other. I wanted... I guess I wasn't done with the world building. Yeah. I felt like I got very little of the world building of this beautiful realm. Even though that you you got, explored, uh, you, even when they started the gunfight, you still were exploring the. I know, but it, it was just like this. De- it was depressing. I mean, it was depress. I would have been more depressing to go to the the, the sections where they stuck the workers and the lower class and yeah. the minorities. Prior, prior to, to everything, everything. I think that was a little bit of that. I think that was a missed opportunity. And also, Elizabeth's power was like, I can bring stuff in to help you. Here's a hook. Here's some stuff to hide behind. Here's a decoy. And I'm like, I want you to bring in a freaking train right there. Right just there. Rrr, just take him out, please. <laughs> I, you know? think, I think, <laughs> I think they would have had a hard time balancing that. <laughs> Like, I want you to summon train. <laughs> no, you summon but doom they train. They made it sound like you were going to be able to do these crazy things. And then they, well, like, I know. That's... I mean, she did summon a tornado. She did. They freaking, she's like, I want to go to the Wizard of Oz now. Bye. And here's Kansas. And Dorothy's, yeah. like, running. And, you know, there's a tornado. And she yeah. kills the freaking scientists. Here's, well, but that's, I mean. No, so I do love the part. But there were some really good. I mean, the game's really good. Yeah. It no. is one of the best games. Um... The ending was like, oh, really? Yeah. Of course, of course. It's the classic. I'm not. I'm. I'm. I'm, I'm gonna spoil it because if you haven't played it yet, then yeah. Um, you know. Oh, it's you, you were. You it's were. You. It's you. Yeah, it's, it's you. you. Um, but you know, it was done very well. Elizabeth, your daughter from another. I know. Like it ruined all the fan fiction. It ruined all of it. Ah, uh, didn't. Or didn't. made it better. <laughs> anyway. Uh, I was gonna say, have you gone to fanfiction.net? Little things like him being or she being hurt, his daughter will not stop those authors. And I put those in swollen quotations. Well, you don't see it as often as you think you would. Yeah. Anyway, um. I guess there's certain lines even but that like the, the part internet where won't. you see New York under attack. Uh huh. And Elizabeth shows up and she's old and she's like, you know, I waited for you, but he kept failing. Mm-hmm. But they kept, he kept getting to start over because of all the constant variables and. Yeah. Whatever she says, and um, and she says what really did it? It wasn't the torture, it wasn't the brainwashing, it was time. 
Yeah. Just the relentless time pushed against her that made her become like Comstock. Yeah. It wasn't... They didn't change her by their own choices. It was merely time that eventually broke her down. Yeah. Uh, and it was just really interesting. What the frick is going on? Uh, that's, I like that's how the they power. spray things. Here, I ate a grenade. <laughs> but, yeah. The ending was just like, what? What? <laughs> what? I need, I need, I need a what? flow chart. What? What's well, multiverse and theory? And you play um, Burial at Sea, and you're like, really? Yeah. You had really? I mean, yeah, sure. Answer some cool questions that you got answered in there. Well, but did and, it need and, to be answered? I don't know, but it was kind of fun. I mean, yeah. that stuff was fun. What happened to Elizabeth was not fun. I was like, really? Really? Yeah. Like, I like how she died and didn't die at the same time. She's like, I'm dead. Comes back. Here I am. Here's my body. Now I don't have powers anymore. I'm like, how does that even freaking? I uh, uh, um, multiverse theory. And then like you know, and then, for any time there's anything and I like unexplained the between Elizabeth and um, Booker. Yeah. But they did point out like this is the part I didn't do it. Um, but I saw it where if you go into this area, she gives this little scared little boy an apple and sings the song that represents the game. Oh, will the circle be uh, unbroken? Be broken, yeah. The song that is this game. Yeah, will the same And I cut. And, and, and when you flip the coin, is it always heads and tails? Is it always land the same at the beginning? I don't know. I have to play. Those two were the interesting of, characters. They were um, probably the, the the most interesting character. I always look forward to seeing them. Like, oh yeah, the crazy twins. Crazy siblings. Siblings, but actually, it's the it's the same it's the same, same person. person just one in, was born male, one was born female. Yeah, which is there? Is, are they? Does that work that way? Siblings Wouldn't he be a different if, person if it, or she originally. Anyway, yeah. um, at least the one thing about that game was they weren't that sexist. I mean, they were a little bit, but you know, they didn't really mind having a lady scientist around. I guess. Um, I guess he wanted to kill him anyway because they knew too much. Yeah. Like, um. Comstock was interesting. So, represented like all, all cult leaders ever, just merged into mm -hmm. one guy. So I guess he didn't surround himself by beautiful virgins. Um, um, he had that going for him. Well, Come and talk. Say that's, hello. That's what I would have done. Well, fine. That's what I would have done. Um, so uh, here's an interesting little news thing in the world of science. Um, they've discovered alcohol in the middle of our galaxy. How do they know it's alcohol? Um, science. That doesn't make any sense. <laughs> so, okay, let me let me let me explain. So, there is this nebula. Oh crap! Made I can't of alcohol. Remember. Well, okay. There's a chemical cloud near the center of our galaxy. How do they know what chemical it is? Because they. How does this even work? Electromagnetic. What? <laughs> I see. They, they could be. It could be like our eyes could be totally wrong, and it's really just like it's a bunch of pee. Well, okay. So. <laughs> Uh, ethanol is the thing in alcohol that makes alcohol alcohol, okay? And they found chemical traces of ethanol. Actually, a lot of ethanol and, um, oh, some other chemicals. I just really focused Why are on soda the ethanol. Machines? Um, no, they're actually vending machines. All commerce is done through vending machines. It's Japan. It's, uh, it's, it's, it's Bioshock. Yep, that too, yeah. It's all, all commerce is done via, 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 um, Our Venetian. child is a bush. He is a bush. He likes playing on the bed. Uh, but anyways, yeah, so, uh, and apparently, based on the chemicals, some of the other chemicals they've found in this chemical cl cloud, it will, it, it basically is composed like rum and will taste like raspberries. <laughs> you didn't see the look she gave I'm me. Just like what the crap. <laughs> so they've been. I like how there's a silence now in the. Yeah, yeah there's just the, the pause and like, you laugh. What? Yeah, I I, 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 I would believe it if it tasted like schnozberry. Schnozberry. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and I watch I watch the news report and they explain how all of how they 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 uh you know <coughs> determined all this. 
<laughs> and all I was hearing was science, 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 alcohol. Booze, spoos in space. Booze in space. Also, would it kill you if you ate it? Oh, it would kill you because there was also traces of cyanide and Well, then other... it can't. No, it doesn't count. What, what, it, okay. It can't be booze then. But it's alcohol. It's still no. alcohol. It's still ethanol. So we can clean things with it. Well. Yeah. And then if someone looks at they die. Uh, sucks, right? <laughs> so. Yep. Anything else? Uh, did you have something? Was I supposed to? Yes. <laughs> uh, no. Okay, so uh, we're gonna go on to things we want to talk about. So. You have things you want to talk about? I have. I have a question for you, and you. I will answer the same question. I'm already married to you, so we can't get married again. Um. Okay. <laughs> Uh, um, so, we are coming to, to a mic. point, we're coming to, um, when, uh, uh, we've got all these Disney movies, these live action Disney oh, movies coming out. Oh, we have 20 minutes. 20 minutes. What? <laughs> Do we really? No, we have more than that. No. Oh, wait, 40, you're right. 40 oh that's right, yeah, yeah, you got, you got 20 Mama, minutes. Mama! Okay. Titan. So... Out of all of the, the, the live action Disney movies, Hunter and One Dalmatians is the best. Uh, actually, that wasn't the, the first one wasn't too bad. And then they had like the talking. They they added the oh. The, what was it? A parrot that thought he was a dog or something like that. Okay, sequels don't count. Sequels don't count. Um. Yeah. What would you say would be your best Disney villain? And who would you yeah. want? What actor would you want to play a live I don't action know version? Actors. Yeah, you do. I don't know names. But you know who, like, what they've played in. Not really. I can't talk to the mic. There's a child's <laughs> body in the way. Here, here, play with, play with an empty soda can. He's got, he's got your, your, your doll. I'm afraid he's gonna break my doll. Yeah, okay. Be fine. Um, I would say... I need a list of villains. A list of villains. <clears throat> well, they've already got, like, uh, someone playing Ursula in the, uh... Once upon a time is Disney's alternate universe fan fiction... Collaboration stuff. crossover. I liked the first season, and then I was... I kind of want to watch the Peter Pan stuff, but other than that... Disney villain list. We've already got, uh, what's her name? Oh, who's like Quillet DeVille and, uh... Oh, I don't know. Why are you asking me? I don't know actors. You I don't should. know their names. You should. No, I don't. I don't care about names. <sighs> I'm like, it's, I'm the same way with music. I don't care enough. I can listen to it. I can watch them. I know Angelina Jolie. Uh, well done. And she's not, because she gets hotter as she ages. It's really weird. It was really weird to see her play Maleficent. I don't know. I thought she did a good job. She did, I, she did do a good job. The My movie problem, was crap. The movie was crap, but they, like, I feel like, I didn't the want. The movie wasn't crap. It, it became crap. Yes. Um. That one scene, that I, one there's scene. There's only really one scene in the whole movie that was crap. Rep to the original. Which Their was problem the was is they wanted to glorify Maleficent, and they didn't know how to do it. Yeah. And the problem was is she needed to be a true. She need. She didn't need to be an anti-hero. She needed to be a woman scorned and stay a woman scorned. Yeah. Because um, then, because the like her, her, Well, the problem, the big problem is her, it, her. It, well, I had it pointed out perfectly for me. The whole of taking her wings is way too close to a rape allegory. Yeah. And Disney was like, ah, too dark. Pull it back. Pull it, pull it back. Yeah, they and kept going with that. It could have been. It could have been really creepy and good. And, and, yeah. And you could have really had more stuff between her and Stefan and really developed that. No, he just went crazy. I, my problem with. Best Disney villain right here. Okay. Pete. Pete. Like, like, Mickey Mouse Pete? Pete, yeah. Okay. Danny DeVito is as Pete. You'd have to like Sylvester's sister. You'd have to what's Big his Bad name? Wolf. Okay. Oh, these are like These are all of them. All of them. Okay. No, not Danny. Oh, um Oh, who's that one? John Candy. There we go. John Candy as Pete. That works. 
What in the world are you doing? Well, obviously Lucifer the cat should be on the list. Oh. Why would you name your cat Lucifer? Well, have you seen the freaking cat? Well, yes. Cats are evil. That's he gets the... freaking thrown out of heaven in the movie. He gets thrown out the window. Allegory. Oh, ah, very nice. I have no idea. Okay. <laughs> but, ah, uh, why would you name your cat that? That's... Ah. Uh, because cats are already evil. You don't need to put a name to it. And to all the cat lovers in the world, you you are wrong. Cats are evil. I don't care. They're not evil. They are evil. You've met evil. some nice cats. I, don't, I choose to, to forget all about them. In the world, dogs annoy the crap out of me. Yeah. Well, that's because Sam was Sam was a bit of a. <laughs> Give daddy this kisses. Is, this is this is very professional it's having a not having this is a not the list I really want. <laughs> Um, oh, who is the guy? What was that actor's name? The guy who played, um... Uh, um Why are you kissing me? You're so funny. The guy who played uh, Long John Silver in the Muppet Treasure Island movie. I, I can't remember his name, but I want him uh, to play... Voice. I want him to play Jafar. No! <laughs> Plus, you can't do that. Jafar's a bad guy. It has to be ethnic. You have us the cast white, and then you have Jafar as actual the right race because that's the only way we do movies now. Is it really? Yeah, because have you seen have you seen um the not the Ten Commandments the Exodus? Uh uh. Like all the heroes, all the main like Moses and all that are white people. Uh huh. And all the Egyptians and everything are actual well, ethnic they, people. Yeah, they look they look like. And it's like, <sighs> uh, isn't it? We're not. White, beautiful people. They were just not that different from the Egyptians. Yeah, they, uh, they were. They were. They were Arabian. They were. Okay, let's see. The Middle this Eastern one's a little better. Okay. But Gaston, Lady Tremaine. Which one was that one? That's Cinderella's. Oh, is that the I? I just Frollo. Frollo's pretty high on that list. Oh, so Frollo yeah. was like he had lust issues. He had pride issues. You look creepy, dude. He, he was very um, was what, xenophobic. Xenophobic. He was. He was. He was. He was, he was uh, genocidal. Is what he was. Genocidal. But it was because of that. And he felt he had to get rid of all the gypsies, and yet he was attracted to one of them. Yep. Which made him feel like he had to get rid of all of them, even more, yep. because they were tempting him. Is, yeah. How dare they tempt him? Right. You know, whoa, woman, women, their bodies. And yeah. What are you doing? Cover up. Yeah. I'm going to make that boy fail that test because he wore shorts today. They actually sent a, a kindergarten home, kindergartner home, because she had shorts on. Oh, my god. I'm goodness. like, what are you doing sexualizing this girl? That's, 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 that's creepy. That's the question. Why are you that's doing that? That's creepy. There's the red flag. And yeah. Mr. Smee. He's not really a villain. He's just adorable. Mr. Uh, Smee. That's from, um... Oh, from from um, Peter Pan, right? <laughs> I haven't seen that movie. It's like anymore. members. It's like a. Anyway, so Maleficent, the Evil Queen, Crow the Vil, Ursula, uh -huh. Captain Hook, Jafar, Hades, Scar, Queen of Hearts, Doctor Fastlier, Chernabog. You know who Chernabog is? Uh uh He is the um, devil in Fantasia. He oh based yeah, off he's, of he's a yeah, because he's not devil. actually yeah he's not Chernabog, which is a. He was German? A, yeah, he was a German uh, mountain devil devil thing. Yeah, and but he's not the actual like. He's not Satan. He's not Satan, but he I'll be honest with you. He shows up in Neil Gaiman's uh, American Gods. Does he really? Mm -hmm. And he likes sacrifices by getting hit in the head by a hammer. That's how you worshipped him. You killed someone by... Hit him. This is for you, conk. That's, that's oddly specific. So you can't just, like, shoot a person. You have to hit him on the head I by a hammer. I think you could, but he prefers that way because that's how he, in the past, had it when he was worshipped. Okay. They mm. get power from the more people that believe in them. That's right, the, right, that's yeah. The that's, that's, that's the idea of that, and that's why TV and stuff are gods. Yeah, because they... Anyway, so I'm, just from this list, this is... Well, He's the most popular Disney villains. Uh huh. It's not necessarily. I'm looking through and decide who I think is the most evil. Ah, uh, I'm gonna say Frollo. He's not even on this list. Why? Because he's because he's a popular. It's what people know. 
the Hunchback of Notre Dame didn't do that well. Oh uh, yeah, but Frollo didn't. is pretty high up there. Yeah, he would. He um, would be my number one. See, I almost want to separate it into magical and not magical. Well, <clears throat> because you could do some more. You could because some of the non magical ones did more evil crap. It's kind of true. Like, I mean, Frollo like Frollo did some evil crap. I'm sorry. I know Cruella Deville was just like I'm a puppy killer, but she went bonkers. Yeah, she was just crazy. Like, yeah, she was literally like murderous. Like she was going to ram people off the road to get to those puppies. Yeah, like and it was all for fashion, like for her selfish glory. Yeah, and I don't know. And really, or like Ursula, she was just a lone shark. <laughs> yeah, Ursula didn't do anything wrong technically. Yeah, then she legally, never legally. said she never said she couldn't get involved. Yep. Yep. She did never everything. Said. Everything according to contract. She just, yep. She never broke contract because it would have broken. It's a magically bound contract. It probably would have yep. broken then. Yep. She's, um. So the one who really broke the contract was Ariel because yeah. Ariel's a little anyway. Uh, <laughs> I don't like Ariel as a character. Sorry. <laughs> My dad thinks she's hot, so I guess he's in the fish. I. G <laughs> uh. <laughs> it's his favorite princess. I was like, it's just because she's almost naked, I yeah, think. Yeah, well, um, dad's... Jasmine's a... Everyone's like... All, if you ask guys and they say the first one they say is Jasmine, it really isn't about how she's dressed, honestly. Because I've asked them, and they're like, well, I'm not thinking about her clothes as much as her personality. They kind of like the sassy... Guys like the sassy girl. Yeah, and because honestly, you watch the movie and you're like, yeah, like granted, you don't really. If she was really dressed like she should have been, you wouldn't have. They wear loose, robish clothing. They're yeah. beautiful clothing. Yeah. But it's pre-Muslim era. Yeah, rabia. Yeah. So they it, so they wouldn't have been in a burqa. Been, yeah, she wouldn't have been in a burqa, but she would have worn more modest clothing, and the king would have had a harem. <laughs> so yeah. Anyway. Yep. Yep. No, I honestly. Maleficent's on here, and you know you could. Almost lump like Maleficent and Quill of the Ville and Queen of Hearts, not Queen of Hearts, Mill of the Ville, Quill of the Ville. You can almost lump them together as in people who are like they're petty. <laughs> they're, yeah, it's very petty. Um, like Queen of Hearts, I guess you could say Queen she's of Hearts, she, she was just she's nuts. She's crazy because she well, the whole place was she's nuts. Evil. You can't say she's evil. Yeah, because she might be a villain, but she's not evil. She's just. Well, the whole place it's is the nuts. The place is crazy. Who said death was even permanent there? It just yeah. didn't even make sense. It was some guy that was into a little girl and wrote her a story. Um, it was weird. Welcome to... Oh, yeah. And his top hat had Mercury. Yeah. Captain mm -hmm. Hook was... Well, no, he had a, he had a, he had a, a, a morphine, a morphine Actually, addiction. Actually, Captain Hook's the hero. Peter Pan's a jerk. Because who wants the... Who, who, who is it a good idea to be like, mm, you don't want to grow up, little boy? Okay, let's give you a realm where the rules don't apply. Children will do terrible things. Uh, I.e. They will uh, lose a conscience. Lord, uh, Lord of the Flies. Yes. And Peter Pan did kill his own guys when they got too old. They didn't stop aging. Only Peter didn't age. So it was creepy. I thought that that's the the magic of Neverland. Is like no, long it was there. just Peter for some reason. Where was, was that if, in the actual the boys, book? Yeah, the boys start maturing on their own. Maybe it was their choice to start maturing. Yeah. They just started growing up. They decided they wanted to grow up. Like, yeah. Subconsciously, if they got too old, yeah. he'd purge the group. Weird. They would just. Is, and then that's in the book, not that's the movie. in the book. Yeah. Never read the book before. Ursula's just a loan shark. Hades is just a loan shark. Yeah. He never broke his rules either. He never um, went back. Um. No. No. Yeah. But he made a deal. He didn't break the deal. He said. But he did. He did. He did do a coup, try to do a, a coup d'état on on on. Okay. One, you know. But that wasn't a deal breaker. Right. But I mean, he was. He did try to take Dude, over. He would have been more fun as a. Well, I mean, uh, Zeus was kind of like, and that version of him was kind of like. I'm like, okay, dude, you're too normal. Go, oh, you're not fun. The Greeks are, the Greek gods are hilarious. Okay. No, it, well, hilarious. okay, in the Disney Greek pantheon, like the the. And like Hera, what the crap, Hera? You're just way too chill. You yeah, because she was a she scornful. Had angry, she had angry. anger. But you know what? With her, she was raped by a swan. I think she has a little reason to be. Yeah, but angry. she did. She did have a. She did have a monster that was just covered in eyes, so she could watch people that were cheating on their husbands. Men or no, well, sorry, okay, have you seen men that? that were cheating on their wives. Sorry. Well, of course, because Hera had issues with Zeus. Yeah. Of course, she always blamed the women because she couldn't do anything to Zeus. No. No. Yep. Doctor Fasslier was just wanted money. What is it? Who's Doctor? Um. Prince the Frog. The, the Shadow Man? 
Yes, that's his middle name, Dr. Fresselier. Really? Yeah, Shadow when Man. Do, when, do they, when do they bring that up? It's on the list here. I know, but when in the movie, when do they bring that up? I don't remember well, that okay, in the movie. Well, okay, he's like, man, I have no money. Hey, that's a prince. Prince has money. Oh, he's been cut off. Well, if he gets married, he won't be cut off anymore. How am I going to get him married? Right, right, but when do they say the, 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 the Shadow Man's real name? They say it in there somewhere. Oh, do they? Or maybe the Disney just confirmed that was his name. Okay. Anyway, he was creepy. Yes. His song. He was the best. Okay, there's two good songs in that whole movie. Yeah. You ready? I've it's got friends on the other side, other side and almost there. Great songs. Yeah. The rest of the movie is boring as crap. Um, <sighs> kill the stinking lightning bug. That was fine. I'm sorry. He died. Woohoo! Out of here. Get you out of here. He really? He, um, he annoyed you? He annoyed the crap out of me. He wasn't I was okay with, I've, I've seen I was okay worse. with the alligator because it's freaking... It, yeah. It's... Whoa, my brain won't let me say who it is. I can't remember either. Why? You're, we're horrible. We are bad. That is terrible. Because that is like, like one of the most famous um, trumpet players. Uh, anyway. Yeah. So, I I don't know. I wasn't... The, 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 the Firefly didn't bug me that much. Maybe I need to watch it His again. His song too. was annoying. Not Angelique. Or Angelique. Yeah. Uh, which was also annoying. But it's the Firefly song where they're traveling yeah. with all the Fireflies. Yeah. I'm like, there are too many songs in this movie. Yeah, yeah. Tone it down. Well, uh, Beauty and Beast had a song And the every... Prince is annoying. Uh, I know he grew up, but... Well, Beauty and Beast had a song every, like, couple uh, minutes. Yeah, but it actually progressed the story. That's true. It was like, you know, you got your, I want more. And, you know, first off, oh, what a weird girl. I want more. Um, um, uh, when she gets to the castle, the um, I'm totally turned into a... Well, there's the Be Our Guest, you know. Well, well Be Our Guest, and then there's... Uh, which is setting up the castle of magic and her getting used to it. And then yeah, there's and then the song about, um, you know... Basically Stockholm Syndrome. The Stockholm Syndrome yeah, yeah. song. Um, there's something that was That song's very vague because it's like, what? how much time is passing? Yeah, you because don't they really... start out really warm and now it's winter. Yep. How long is she here for? Um, and then, what is it? Gaston? Yeah. I, I have an evil idea. Let me sing about it. That is a great song. I, I love I love the guest uh, song. My favorite, my favorite. Classic, the classic song. Oh, the the. the um, uh, Beauty, and the Beauty and the Beast. Oh no, and then um, he's a beast. Da, 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 oh yeah, the the the, the waving That's pitchfork. The, the the pitchfork um song. So yeah, the scars on here. Scars pretty evil. Yeah, <laughs> I mean he murdered he murdered I mean, his, his name, brother. His original name does mean trash though. Yeah. Uh, he murdered his brother and framed his nephew and basically destroyed, destroyed the, the ecosystem. Yeah, destroyed the... How did he even do that? Um, like, it's one thing to overhunt. I, so the other thing to be like, man, I, I, I hope it never rains again. And then it just stops. Rains like, well, I'm out of here. <laughs> he, he, brought, he brought evil to the land. That's, that's Honestly, I just think it was poor timing for his takeover. Yeah. It could have just been as much of... You can't have this in your mouth with a penny. I'm not putting a penny in your mouth. This is this is a no. Ah, uh, he has a penny. and goes ah, uh, like what the crap. Uh, anyway, I mean, having children around is funny. Captain Hook's not evil. Yeah, uh, he just did. He did. He did try to like murder Peter Pan with a bomb. Okay. Like a pipe bomb. Peter Pan cut his freaking hand off. I said it to an alligator. Peter Pan has yeah. made his death inevitable. <laughs> it's going to happen. <clears throat> he has killed Captain Hook by giving that to the crocodile. That crocodile will eventually get him. He has mm. murdered Captain Hook. Okay. Uh, okay. I, I, I... <laughs> Captain Hook was just chilling. Dude, what did he ever do? Like, he's well, he's a pirate. I'm on the island. I just want to mess with the Indians and take gold. And then Peter Pan's like, I'm going to mess with you. And, and no. He literally cut off his arm and thought it was funny. Peter Pan is a jerk. And he's also like, haha, Wendy, haha, the mermaids are trying to drown you. That's funny, because I'm kind of have no idea of consequence. Like, literally has no idea of I guess he learns a little bit about consequence with yeah. the Tinkerbell thing. Yeah. Um, and then she didn't actually die, so he didn't learn anything. Um, but anyway. Uh, what else we got? That's, that is, that's the main list. The list down here is Gaston, Pete, Lady Tremaine, Shere Khan. 
Claude Frodo. Shere Khan. Yzma. Yzma wasn't evil. Shere Khan wasn't evil either because he was just he, he was he's not doing a, what a tiger does. Okay, he, sa- he sounds beautiful. He does sound beautiful. And he was in um, well, but, but Tailspin. He, he was the uh, CEO. Oh. Oh, that was we fantastic. Need to stop. Uh, not yet. It's, yeah, we've got a bit. So we supposed to stop at six. Sixty. Mm-hmm. Anyway, um, what was I gonna talk? Shere Khan. Okay, yeah, I, okay. The thing is, is he wasn't bloodthirsty for man. Okay. Um, which is not normal. Normal for it's true. Okay. I just... Um, cause he's like, what? There's a boy in the jungle. Well, I better go kill him. Like, okay. Yeah. Now, now the better villain in that whole thing was the snake. Was oh. Um... Winnie the Pooh snake. That was weird. What was his name? Caw. Caw. Yeah. Uh, Let's see. Yizma. Yizma's evil, but it's like silly evil. Yizma. Uh, which one was? Um, Emperor. Oh. Ah. <laughs> uh, like you almost wanted her to win. Yeah, kind of, cause cause Cusco or yeah. Yeah, was he was a jerk, but Yizma was a jerk too. But um, but you only wanted her to win because you loved uh. Kronk. Kronk. <laughs> Kronk was the best character in that movie. That movie was weird because it came out of nowhere. Because you were just like, you saw the ads, yeah, you're like, eh, okay, whatever, I'll go watch it. It'll funny. be. And then you you go to. I died in the theater. I was I just. Thought it was funny. I was just laughing so hard. Like, Happy it came out of birthday. nowhere. Well, I love you. There you go. Um, Big Bad Wolf. Okay. Um, I'm actually thinking of Peter and the Wolf Wolf. Really? Have you seen the anime? I Peter have Wolf? not. Oh my goodness. And that music starts for the. Have you heard Peter and the Wolf musical? Uh-uh. <gasps> no. Is it? Is it? Oh, because every every character is represented by a instrument. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I know what and you're talking about now. And he comes in, and it's just his instrument and just the what the, the four boat. I can't remember. It's something deep. Yeah. It's not a drum, but it's something deep, like a. Mm, it, like, it, it, like it's a, very. Uh, what's it called? Very foreboding. Like you know, someone's going to die. Someone does die, not the kid, but um, what? <laughs> what are you eating? Cracker? Where'd you get a cracker? Uh, uh, <laughs> it's best not anyway, to ask. It, like he, like I remember my sisters and I hiding behind the couch when we watched that. We were scared of that wolf. He was scary. Actually, you know the scariest mu- music, honestly. C M N A M. I don't know. Uh, the scariest music. Well, I'm talking about music. Um. You know, kind of being oh, scary. Oh, Lady and the Tramp, it's the, the, the racist cats. We are Siamese, if you please. <laughs> we are Siamese, uh, if you please. We watched, uh, Titus was watching Aristocrats, and, uh. <laughs> <laughs> For the cookie, always rock. Yeah, the, the, the racist cat. <laughs> it was like, wow. Racist stereotype. Uh, but no, uh, the the music though that, because, um, I took a music appreciation class Shinzi, in. Shinzi, um, Benzai, and Ed. Oops. Oh! Who's that? It's the hyenas. Oh. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They're technically, everyone. Pain and Panic. Those are henchmen. Those aren't villains. I you go. I think this is just other ones. Yeah. Lucifer. Ka, Fultum, and Jetsum. Diablo. Diablo? I'm clicking. Oh. Anyways, uh, I took a music appreciation class in, high, in junior high. And uh, we listened to um, the uh, opera, um, the well, Halls of Mountain. Said it's Raven. Oh, well, we are uh, listening to the, the. That was not his name in the movie. The uh, uh, the opera, the Hall of the Mountain King. Have you ever have you ever heard that opera? Yes. The Hall of the Mountain King. The the music when he's like running from the dwarves is terrifying because they catch him and they, it's like that mob murder which is. I don't know. I don't know why that scares what me. What movie is it? Oh, it's it's an opera. It's called oh. the Hall of. You you was about watch operas, but you won't freaking take me to a ballet. Um, cause I was I I didn't choose to watch the opera. I I was forced to. Apparently, you remembered it. What well, yeah, cause it was scary. Up? It was it was a terrifying thing. So I got another list. Mother Gothel. People like her exist. Yeah, um, they do, and I. Figures like I've that. met. I've met people like her who will belittle you in very subtle ways. Mm-hmm. Yep. Um, she was, for all of her evilness with the magic flower, was a very realistic. Character. Yes. Yeah. Good. Like Sean, you was didn't do much. 
Uh, oh, was that the was that the the, 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 the villain from Mulan? Yeah. yeah. You know why did he have yellow eyes? Like what I the frick? Don't know because he was because he's Mongolian. I guess, which is weird because the Mongols really like being invaded by them. I mean, it sucked. They but actually won. Yeah. Over the wall they, there. They did, and they they. But you know, once once the invading and the the death and stuff was over, you pretty much got to keep doing whatever it is you were doing. I mean, that's they're just like, okay, you guys keep doing what you're doing. Paying taxes and you can keep worshiping whoever you worship. Yeah, we don't care. We don't care. Just um, pay your dues. Now, granted, if you didn't pay your dues, they really they kill you. Oh yeah, yeah. Emperor Zerg. Emperor Zerg. Isn't that um, Zerg is? Um, oh, is that from the Buzz Lightyear? Toy Story. Or, yeah, yeah, Buzz Lightyear. That was. Lots of hugging bear. Oh! They freaking pulled a Toy Story two with that plot. What? I'm, I'm really a nice guy. Welcome here, guys. Da -da 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 -da. Oh, but I'm just like the prospector. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. You're right. Sour Bill. I'm assuming that is from that atrocity of a movie. Uh, oh, is it that? The oh. Country Cows, whatever one. Why did that exist? It was horrible, horrible. Why? Movie. Why? Like that killed, that finished off Disney Animation. That's what yeah. did it. Oh, they they they, they made a uh, concerted effort to bring it back, though. Well, they didn't do anything after that. No. Well, they did um, Princess and the Frog. That's it. That's that the was the last do. one. Yeah, that was the last one they've done. They waited ten years and then did that one. Okay, Oogie Boogie, classic bad guy. I liked Oogie Boogie, but uh, I like that whole movie. Yeah, he's not really evil. No. Um, well, he... I guess he was gonna eat them. Yeah, he's 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 the boogeyman. He's the oogie boogeyman. Okay, man. but they're all bad guys then. They're from Halloween Town. They are That's like racist. you got a wolf man and vampires and they were, they, something but, that didn't really Hey, go. hey, but they're not mean in no. this town of Halloween. Yes. <laughs> Governor Ratcliffe. Yes, he was weird. He, he was, was a weird. He was a strange gay he stereotype. Was, he was a strange villain. Like, that was like, really? Well, okay, just because he was kind of femmy does not mean that he was necessarily gay. Okay, um, what about but, his sidekick? Okay, but here's the thing. Okay. Georgian, Disney. Georgian, Disney Georgian men. Disney representation of those characters were very implied. Okay, but here's the thing. In Georgian, because he's a Georgian. He was a Georgian, he was a Georgian gentleman. Georgian he was, era. He did dress beautifully. Yeah, he was a Georgian era gentleman. And Georgia era... Like if you if you if you study that the Georgian era, which is basically because there's four Georges, King Georges, anyway, in that um, the fashion was men to be more feminine, so they I wore the powdered care. wigs, the makeup. Um, I don't care. And that's what he was. He was a Georgian was gentleman. One, doing it again, where they take feminine. Stereotypes are usually associated with homosexuals and turning them into bad guys. I I know. I'm just I'm just saying that there was for at least that particular character. There That's is. Horus. They were idiots. What so was that they from? were um 101 Dalmatians. Uh uh okay, but okay. in the live action movie. Yes, they it were was a little bit. House and Ron Weasley's father. Yeah. They were in a movie together. Uh, uh, they, really? That was that was them. That was the actor. Oh, I need to go watch the movie again. Hey, we are about out of time. So uh, let me find one more good one. Final final thoughts. Still didn't come. You, next next week you got to come up with actors that should play these. Well, some of these some of these uh, villains have already been played by Little live action mouse. people. The pink elephants are on here. What? Because they're kind of as the villains. In there. They're not. Why would no one villain? That was a hallucination. I think it was a villain. It was the freaking evil clowns. Elephants. It was a well, no, it was a clown. No, they were the trying elephants. to elephants. Yeah, the racist elephants. Excuse me. I don't know if they've picked it up or anything, but yeah. Judge Doom! Okay. Judge Doom? Who's he from? Uh, who's from Roger Rabbit? Oh, that right, guy! Just say bye-bye. Ready? Alright. Come here, come here. Look, look right there. Go bye-bye. Bye-bye-bye. <laughs> Alright, talk to you guys. Uh, we'll see you. Go away! Stop that. Uh, please subscribe, like, all that stuff, and we'll see you next time. Bye! Bye!